Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, in various places on the internet. It's 1.08 p.m. according to a computer clock on Saturday, May 16, 2015, and I want to share with you the latest comic that I got, and it's a long-anticipated one, Afterlife with Archie number 8. Yes, it's finally out. It actually showed up a bit late compared to when other people seem to have got it. But anyway, it's finally out. I want to show you something on the back. I'll just cover up my address. And uh, But you see... I don't know if you can really read that. Hang on. There's no really good way to... Uh, To indicate this, but he's okay. You see that? The deep blur a bit. That says A W A number eight through twelve. That's an indication of how many more issues are left in my subscription. It's a twelve issue subscription. I got a one year subscription to Afterlife with Archie, and I, I, I brought up something on the screen. I, I keep track of when I purchase and buy things and I, I just want to read some of this to you. I, I got Afterlife with Archie number 8 today. Number 7 I got back on December 21st. Number 6 July 29th. Number five, <laughs> May 13, 2014. A year ago, it's been a year and three issues have come out. <laughs> Number four was back on February 28th. Number three back on January 6th. Number two, well, I have gotten two copies of number two. Archie Comics have sent me a second one because the first one didn't show up until it did show up. Or I, I'm not sure which one arrived first. I got a second copy of number two back on January 6, 2014. The first copy of number two I got on December 17, 2013. Number one was October 8th. 2013, and my subscription was placed on uh, September 15, 2013. Okay, so this is a long time coming. I'm going to open it up now, take a quick look. Okay. Alright. So we got this. And on the back, the description. This is going to be like a flashback issue. They're holed up in a hotel, like for Christmas. Yes, this is a Christmas story. And it's actually supposed to be Christmas of 2013 supposedly because it's moving at a slow pace but um yeah but this uh story mary andrews tells of some dark thing from riverdale's history uh let's see so we got the story we got fl flashback there's also supposedly going to be something about deciding what to do with Cheryl Blossom. A 
Betty and Veronica are going to help Cheryl. They come to her defense. You see, the thing with Cheryl is at the end of number seven, Jason had died. Cheryl said Jason had died, and there's a theory she might have simply murdered Jason. Um, I don't know if we'll ever learn the truth unless there's like a flashback to the actual events. It might be in here, who knows. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'll have to read it to find out. There's an afterwards letter column and then a from the vault with another chilling adventures and sorcery black and white reprint thing. This one's pretty short, it's like three pages. Um, preview of next issue, it's going to be Reggie-centered. I look forward to reading this, and I'll do a review on it, and, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, but yeah. This has been a long time coming, and if you consider number six was basically a side story about what was going on with Serena during this whole time, then uh, this is only the seventh issue dealing with the gang. Um, the main gang. Um, but yeah, it's like gonna be Christmas, and the first issue was took place on Halloween, so it's like been like less than two months since the zombie outbreak, since the start of the story. Anyway, I'm gonna read this, and um. I'll do a review later, maybe today, maybe some other day, we'll see. Anyway, it's 1.15pm and that's it, thanks for watching.